The contributors that are here tonight is are the uh, the, play, the members of the playback theater ensemble. Uh, this was a pretty innovative thing that I think they did for the with, within the entire Montreal Life Stories project and the performance working group. Playback became a kind of a core place for reflection. Playback theater. Uh, within the project. So we weren't just looking at the stories we were collecting. Playback was also looking at the experience of collecting the stories. It was a way that we bridged interviewer and interviewee. So to talk about this, I'd like to invite... Uh, uh, Alan is not here tonight, is he? I'll, is I'll it Alan? Alan. <laughs> You're, you're I'm Alan tonight? I'm, I'm Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ward, uh, Lisa, um, and come on. Oh, Jolianne. Sorry, Jolianne is, uh, is Alan. <laughs> so, so our title uh, is Turning Together. And uh, it will become evident why it's called Turning Together. Uh, part of the process of the writing is we were writing through performance, but also writing about performance and transforming our performance and writing about it. And part of what happened was we developed through the project and through the grace of all the work of the people of the project, new, new playback and performance forms. Uh, that's what happened. So we have a little excerpt to read. Yeah. That gives you a flavor of it's a performed chapter. Right. <laughs> so we, we were uh, we were writing down the performances and now we're performing the <laughs> writing. <laughs> writing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in the beginning, we wanted to develop a performative methodology that could advance the project's goals. But as it progressed, many among our various working groups began to ask the question why? Why dig up stories of only to expose corpses? What purpose does it serve other than coming to an understanding of what these experiences mean to them and to help us better understand the impact of violence and displacement. These questions were troubling to us. The larger goal of the project was to raise questions about crimes against humanity. Then were we trying to work towards recording a, a more complete picture of Canadian history? Or did the project imply some other efforts such as to remember the repercussions Remember the repercussions of violence as a strategy to prevent such a history from repeating itself, or was the project a way of working towards an integration of lived experience in Montreal so that those who had experienced mass violence might more easily coexist with and among those who did not share such histories of betrayal, pain, and loss? Looking at these questions through performance became a performance of that quest those questions. Initial articulation of the life story project grapple with avoiding a facile, <coughs> facile? <laughs> and removed inquiry into the experience of collective trauma, wherein those labeled as survivor would do the telling and the unaffected and neutral others would do the listening for the purpose of privileging the record, the archive. We decided to draw on a form of interactive theater that has its root in oral history called playback theater that it will and that I will describe in more detail a little further if you buy the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.